When we get in the bunker, we got a variety of things to navigate, and you've got to understand a couple of key concepts so you can get this golf ball out onto the green and hopefully maybe even save a par. I'm PGA Teaching Professional Todd Cole, Director of Instruction for US Golf TV. And a greenside bunker shot, even on a normal good lie, can really be a scary shot for a lot of golfers. But what about when you've got hard pan to deal with? Or what if you've got a, what we call a plug lie or a fried egg? Today I'm going to show you exactly how to hit those shots. And i got to tell you this, if you're not already part of the US Golf TV family, hey, be sure to subscribe and be sure to ring that bell because we're putting out great content and we're doing that for people all over the globe. And we love hearing from you. A lot of you out there are teaching me a few things and you're giving us really good ideas on how to develop more good content. So please keep those comments coming because we love hearing from you. So let's dive right into this. Today I'm gonna share with you how you navigate a plugged lie, a standard greenside bunker shot, and off the hard pan. So here's what you gotta know. When we have a fried egg or a plugged lie, we've gotta get this club down into the sand a little bit. So what you're gonna do the first thing here is you're going to make sure that the club face is slightly closed. So on a standard shot, which we'll talk about here in a second, we're going to rotate that face a little bit open. But in this shot right here where it's a plugged lie, I'm going to take this club face and I'm going to close it down a little bit. Now when I take the club face and I shut it down or close it, what that does is it brings the leading edge down and it helps the club dig into the sand because I've got to get down into that sand to get that ball to pop up. Now in terms of ball position, I basically like the ball about in the center of the stance. Now typically, when you've got a fried egg or a plugged lie, you're going to be on a slope. That's why the ball has compressed into the sand because you've flown the ball into a slope. So you've got to make sure that you get a little bit wider stance. You might even point your toes a little bit so you've got a good strong base to work off of. All right, A lot of golfers, when they get into these lies and it's uneven, they start moving around too much. So get a good wide stance, get some weight into that lead foot, and take that club face and shut it down a little bit. Now once you're in that spot, ball in the center right here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna pick the club up relatively sharply, meaning pretty vertical, and you're gonna take the club and almost stick it in the sand and leave it in the sand. And when you do that, that ball will pop out. Let me go ahead and demonstrate. So, I got it leading into the slope a little bit, club face closed, all right, and I'm just going to leave. Notice how I kind of left that club in the sand. That ball popped out nice and rolled up. Actually, a pretty good shot, about four or five feet from the cup. So let's hit one more, and we're going to talk about the next couple shots here. All right, so when you're set in here, you got that ball center, club face closed, more of like a V swing, straight up, straight down. Leave the club kind of in the sand. Okay, I got the ball out, I got it on the green. If I can do that out of a fried egg or a plug lie, I'm very happy with that. Now one thing to note on this particular shot right here is that the ball is gonna come out with no spin. It's just gonna come out what I call dead. It's, you're gonna literally see it flying out and you'll probably almost be able to read the logo on it or the name on it. It'll come out and then therefore it'll roll out a little bit. All right, so that's how we navigate that shot. If you got questions on that shot, be sure to fire those in the comments. I'll do my best to answer those. Or if you have some suggestions that have worked well for you, maybe you could teach me a couple things as well. All right, now, let's talk about the standard shot, okay? Pretty good lie right here, greenside bunker. So what I'm gonna do with this shot is I'm gonna rotate the face open now because now I want the club to glide through the sand, not dig into the sand. So I'm gonna rotate that club a little open. I'm gonna aim my body a little to the left of the target to accommodate for the club face being a little bit open and the ball is going to be just a little bit forward of center okay now the keys here are this you want to get a little bit weight into your lead foot to stabilize yourself the co most common mistake i see amateur golfers make in a greenside bunker is that they move their weight back they move their weight back and then the bottom of the swing moves back they skull it, they drive it into the lip, or it goes over the green. So get that weight a little bit forward and keep it there. Ball forward, weight forward, leaning into a little bit, face rotated open, and I'm just gonna go ahead and swing it back and splash some sand out. Okay, ball came out nice and high and soft, even though I hit a little bit behind it. Now, I wanna give you a little tip here that I hadn't even, hadn't really thought about I was gonna give you, but it came to mind, I wanna share it with you. That is when you finish the swing, 
on a standard bunker shot right here. Okay, this is gold right here. You're going to want to pay attention to this. When you finish, the handle and your hands should be a little bit closer to you. Okay, watch closely. If you watch any golf on TV, okay, watch the best players in the world, the females, the men, all tours. When they finish on a greenside bunker shot, the butt end of the club is back and towards them. You don't ever see them hit a greenside bunker shot where the handle goes forward this way. Now the reason for that is that when you pull the club back a little bit this way, okay, that adds loft and shallows out the angles. When you lead this way, that steepens the angle and de-lofts the golf club. Okay, so this time I'm gonna hit the shot and I want you to watch, especially close, where it is when it finishes. All right, here we go. Toes out. Nice wide stance, leaning into it a little bit. Ball a little forward to center. Face is open. Let me clean off the face a little bit here. All right, and I want you to watch the hand movement. Watch the finish. Okay, notice, oh, perfect shot. Came out high and soft. Notice the finish right there. I pulled it back a little bit. That added some loft shallowed out that angle of attack, fantastic shot. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Stock shot, once again, like the fried egg shot. If you got questions on that or comments, or even if you, even if you disagree, that's okay. If we can disagree, you might be able to teach me something as well. All right, now, this shot here, wow. This is a tough one. This is probably the hardest shot, I think. I'd almost rather have that uh, plugged lie than I would this one, because this one, and this happens a lot, this happens a lot in golf courses. You know, our golf course here where we teach at is just fantastic. You know, we kind of made this the way it was just for today's shoot, but our bunkers are fantastically, they're really well maintained. But a lot of public golf courses, a lot of golf courses in general, if they don't maintain the bunkers, you're gonna get this shot. It rains or the sprinklers come on there and it just compresses and packs the sand. So what do you gotta do? Well. Here's what we're gonna do. This is probably the most difficult out of the three shots. What you're gonna do is you're gonna keep that ball about in the same spot, slightly forward to center. You're still gonna have a little bit of weight forward, but this time you're gonna keep the club face square. Okay, just dead square, all right? And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna hit almost like a long chip shot, hit a little bit behind the ball, and it's gonna come out lower, okay? But hopefully we can get it out of there. So ball slightly forward to center, wide stance, club face square. See what we get. Okay, I'm gonna take that shot. All right, notice how it went through the sand there a little bit, all right? Didn't really dig, but didn't glide through, took just almost like a little bit of a divot. So we've gone from a closed club face to an open club face to a square club face. All right, here we go. Let me hit one more shot, and then I'm gonna share with you one more thing here before we wrap it up. All right, nice wide stance, little forward, club face square, remember that, right? Okay, here we go. I'll take that, I got it out, it's on the green. I'm gonna be very, very pleased with that shot. So when we hit shots into the green side bunker, it's not like every bunker's the same. You've gotta have some information, some knowledge. So when you head to the golf course next time, if you've got a lie that's plugged, close the club face, stick it in the ground. If you've got a standard nice little lie in the you know, greenside bunker, open the face, get it a little bit forward, pull that club back in, that'll add loft. That's the secret sauce right here today. Pull that back in, it'll add some loft, give you some height. If you've got this hard pan one, get it square, ball a little forward, hit almost like a chip shot. If you can manage these three, these three situations, when you're out on the golf course, you can definitely help lower your scores and once and for all, maybe even eliminate the fear of a greenside bunker shot.